Hey everybody, thanks for watching today's video. Over the past year during the pandemic, I started becoming pretty lazy, lackadaisical, not really moving around much, almost no exercise at all. Put on a few pounds and over the past couple months, um, started realizing I needed to do something to make some changes. So, you know, made some adjustments to my diet a little bit, tweaked here and there, but I really needed something to energize me, um, to get some real exercise to, so I could get semi-fit again, at least in some way. So I did my research. There's other videos of mine that you can look at and just um, it'll explain why I landed on the Ergata water rower, but that's what I have. And I thought for those who, have, who are interested or maybe just got it, um, might like to see kind of walk through the uh, demo screen here on their choices and the setups and uh, maybe even show a row or something like that. So uh, again, thanks for watching and uh, let's get started. So the first thing you'll see when you turn on your regatta monitor is the profile screen. I have mine set up for both my son and me. With the regatta membership, you have an unlimited number of profiles that you can add to include your whole household. After selecting your profile, you'll be taken to the main screen. In the top left of the screen is the drop down menu with tutorials at the very top. Select that and you will be given several options to help get you started. These include tutorials, help videos, a section on music, a Wi-Fi connection screen, and an integration screen that currently includes the Strava app. A quick side note on Strava. It allows you to sync your workouts with the Strava application so that you can view them on your phone as well as share your workouts and follow other Strava users. Lastly is the update screen where it lists previous updates that were pushed to the Ergata app. Next in the upper right is the profile section. This is where you can go in and adjust your age, weight, height, etc. for your profile. I blurred this screen simply for privacy reasons. Next along the bottom you will see rankings, challenges, and dashboard. Dashboard is where you can look at all your previous rows, races, and stats. Across the top, you have the options of workout history, milestones, and intensity zones. Now going back to the dashboard, the first screen it shows is broken down by distance road. Click on the drop down and the next selection is average split, which allows you to track your average time to row 500 meters. Next is a breakdown of your best split times. After that is average power. This shows how many watts of energy you created during your workouts. And finally is calories, which simply shows you how many calories you've burned during your workouts. Now let's take a look at the different workout programs Ergata has to offer. First are the push programs. Per Ergata's website, these are collections of interval and race workouts that are organized around a final challenge. Each program has a recommended time frame, a workout sequence that unlocks as you progress, and a final challenge. Next is the interval training area. Ergata says that interval workouts give you a series of different targets to hit over time, and you'll be scored based on the percentage of targets you successfully hit. Next to that is the race workout section. This is where you can race against the times of other users in the Ergata community. They put you up against people with similar performance stats to ensure you stay engaged and driven. Lastly is open row, which is the one I'm most familiar with. You can choose your open row based upon distance, time, and there is also a free row to allow you to simply sit down and row for as far or as long as you'd like. It's a bit difficult to see in the video, but I am dragging the bar across the screen to increase or decrease the distance and time for each workout type. Back on the main screen is the challenges section. These are challenges designed specifically for you and your skill level. I already find this to be an excellent motivator. The final area on the main screen is the ranking section. This area allows users to visually determine where they fall within the Argata community based upon several different factors. You can filter by age, weight, and gender. You can even choose multiple filters if you so desire. You can easily locate where you fall by tapping go to my rank. As you can see, I have a long way to go. 
But I'm excited to see how it'll progress. Okay, so that's it for the interactive section. Now let's take it for a spin. Before I get started, I would like to point out that the Ergata does offer music you can choose straight from the workout screen to help you keep motivated during your workout. You can also connect Bluetooth headphones to the device so you don't disturb others while you're rowing. For this workout, I'm going to leave the headphones off. Man, you gotta love that sound. Just like being in the open water. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up a little bit so you don't have to watch the full workout. Just a short workout, but man, does it feel good. I feel great, but it's taxing, that's for sure. Usually takes me a few minutes to catch my breath. Well, that's it. I love my new Orgata, and I hope this um, video was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and like and subscribe. Thanks for joining.